All right, so each year, Nike sells millions of t-shirts, millions. Chances are if you buy Jordans and Nikes, you also have some Nike apparel t-shirts being part of that. However, there are some pretty bad Nike t-shirts out there. There's also some great ones. So I'm gonna show you a mix and match of both right now. Some I've bought over time that have not held up well and others that have held up really well, nice quality, and of course have good designs. So I'm gonna keep it pretty brief and give you some tips on some things to avoid and also some things to look for. Four or five different Nike t-shirts in here, some good, some bad, let's dive into it right now. I'm a little torn on where to start. You know, let's start from the basement. Let's start off with some shirts that I think that you should avoid. This is my personal opinion. This is my personal experience. Do you. Don't let me steer you one way or another. If you feel strongly about a certain shirt and you're down with that, and that's all you wanna wear every single day, whether you're in a suit, whether you're playing rec basketball, and you wear that one golden Nike t-shirt underneath everything, please keep wearing it. Don't let me steer you wrong. This is just my thought. This one might hurt a little bit. This is probably the most common Nike t-shirt that you can buy. This body, this style, this material, if you go into any Nike store or outlet, you'll find shirts like this. This particular one has a small Nike logo on the left side, which I liked. This was a cool basic essential tee, that's why I got it. And most of the other Nike tees have big designs in the front. They're typically the ones that have the huge swoosh or big Nike logo, or it'll say Nike New York, Nike Boston, Nike San Francisco, whatever it is. The price tag on this is $25. And I think that is why it's a huge selling point for some people. $25, it's affordable, you can buy into the brand, you can get a pretty cool design that will go with your shoes and you're good. You're not breaking the bank. The problem with these is they do not hold up well over time. This is one of my The Nike Tees, AKA the Club Tee. There's a lot of different versions of this shirt and video will never do it justice. In person, it looks horrendous. I wouldn't leave the house in this shirt simply because after one or two washes, it's toast. Gonzo, garbanzo. Now, did I mess up? Did I put this thing in the dryer? Yes, that happened. But most of you at some point are gonna mess up as well. And you're gonna put a t-shirt in the dryer. Mostly, I wash cold and I hang dry. This thing hit the dryer one time, completely toast and you should be able to make that mistake once or twice without completely ruining the shirt. And this thing is pretty ruined in my opinion. Now, how do I classify that? For one, it shrinks like crazy. We're talking inches off the whole length. The arms scrunched up. It felt like it had a loose fit at first. Now it's crazy tight. And just the wrinkles are really what gets me because I did steam this, but in person, like, it is just as wrinkly as it gets. I've got it on the metal dry cleaning hanger because it simply does not deserve a wood hanger. It is getting metal hanger treatment. It's just not a nice looking t-shirt. And for 25 bucks, who cares? But you'll have to buy another. You'll continue to have to buy more and more and more. Even though it's an appealing price tag, I would not recommend this Nike tee unless it is a design that I have to have unless it's something that totally grabs me, I'm not gonna get the shirt. Keep in mind, I am a picky guy. You know that. I wouldn't have a YouTube channel about sneakers and clothing if I wasn't picky. That's part of me. That, that is what I am. I'm a little bit particular. So that makes this a good channel in my opinion. And if you wanna see more of my particularness, make sure you subscribe. Okay, so the bad is out of the way. Let's get into the good stuff right here. We got something from Nike Lab. If you don't know about Nike Lab, it's an elevated version of already existing Nike products. The retail price on this Nike Lab t-shirt is $40. Most people feel that that is an expensive t-shirt, and I agree with you. Over time, and after buying probably a thousand t-shirts myself, I'm okay with paying $40 for a t-shirt. If I know that the quality is gonna be good, no problem. As soon as I opened this out of the package, I was like, perfect, yep, this will be good. It's a heavier material. Those Nike tees are so thin. Now, if you like all your tees very thin, that may be a plus to you. Me, 
I like at least a mid-weight. I prefer heavyweight, but I like a little bit of a mid-weight. If I need something that light, I might as well throw on a jersey. This light blue grayish tone is just super unique, and then you have a small Nike swoosh done on the left side there, very simple. For 15 more dollars, this is very much worth it. It is substantially better. They had a sale recently and I got it for 30 something. I think it was like 32 bucks. Deal City. If you guys wanna cop any of the shirts that I'm showing you in this video, check down in the description. They will all be linked. Because they were on sale, I also grabbed this pistachio mint version, which is really nice as well. Two solid essential colors that are outside of like the standard gray, black, and white. Just throwing this in there as well. If you've ever copped any of the Nike ACG t-shirts, the quality is very similar. It's not the exact same, but they're both really good shirts. The length on this ACG one is a little bit longer, both really nice. I should mention sizing as well. I'm 6'2", 185, 190 on weekends, and I tend to wear a size large. Both of these are size large, which you could say is my true t-shirt size. They fit me great. Okay, and then next up, which is also in the $40 price club, this is the Nike Sportswear Premium T. So I grabbed this not long ago and wasn't sure how it was gonna fit. It is money. This has gotta be one of the better Nike t-shirts I've bought in a long time. I've never seen them do a style quite like this. It's got this really thick, nice, clean collar to it. It's one of those collars that you look at and you're like, all right, that's not gonna stretch out. This is gonna stay its true fit and size, which is great. You do not want a bacon collar. When the collar gets all destroyed and you're looking at it and you're like, how am I even gonna wear that and have people take me seriously? I cannot stand it when a collar loses its shape. If that bothers you too, right here, man. This thing is where it's at. It's a little bit rougher to the touch than the Nike Lab Tees, but it doesn't, uh, give it a cheap feel. You've got stripes on this one, of course. There's a few different colors that I'll link for you guys down in the description. It fits me true to size as well. This is a size large. It has somewhat of a boxy fit, but a good boxy fit, if that makes any sense. Like, I'm not flapping in the wind with this thing. It drops right off my shoulders and it doesn't look like it's too wide. Okay, and then last up, the most expensive Nike t-shirt I've ever bought. This thing, was $55. I was a little bit hesitant to buy this, but the design, I had to, I had to. Being a big fan of Ken Griffey, I had to pull the trigger on this t-shirt. Ken Griffey, one of the coolest baseball players of all time, if not the coolest baseball player in my opinion. It honestly feels and looks like a vintage t-shirt. If I was to search one of these up on eBay or Depop or something like that, I'd imagine the original version of this shirt would be more than $55. So that's why I justified it. There's a couple reasons I'm showing this to you. One, it's absolutely fire. Two, the quality is on point. But three, there's something to watch out for with a t-shirt like this, the Nike tee, which was $25. Bad quality and it doesn't hold up. On the tag of this shirt, it also says the Nike tee. However, they are totally different. I don't know exactly why that is, but I wanted to point that out to you in this video. Long story short, you get what you pay for as far as Nike t-shirts go. You're not gonna buy a 20 or $25 Nike tee and have it be amazing quality. If you pay a lot for one, chances are it's gonna be nice. And I know that that's kind of common sense, but one of the biggest take homes that I can tell you from this video is to pay the extra $15 for the $40 Nike tee compared to the 25. And if you do happen to go out and buy this $55 Ken Griffey tee, I hate to say it guys, but it's worth it. The only other time I'd really spend that much on a tee, if it was from like Kith or Ame Leondor, and I knew it was made in New York City or Canada. That holds a lot of weight to me. Do me a favor, if there's any specific Nike t-shirt that you recommend, hit the comment section so that I can look into it or other people can check it out. And if you wanna see more Nike t-shirt or apparel content, let me know down in the comment section and for sure hit that like. 
on this video. If you wanna see how I style anything, make sure you're following me on Instagram and uh, subscribe if you're new. Thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll catch you next time. Peace.